What is going on guys? If you're wondering where I'm at right now, I'm in the car wash because I'm headed to Hersey Park today. That is where I'm going. This will be my second trip of the new year, but it's been over 184 days since I've ridden a coaster. But I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Wawa really quick and I'll snap my fingers and we will be there. I'm here, Hersey Park, we are here. Uh, I'm in the parking lot right now. I'm not gonna put the mask on yet. But uh, I'm walking up, I see Candemonium already. It doesn't look crazy huge, obviously it's a hyper coaster, but I will talk to y'all when I get inside the park, let you know how everything goes, let you know how the process goes. This is the opening day. This is literally the opening weekend. Uh, it's July 3rd today. Uh, this isn't like media, media day was yesterday for Candemonium. Passholder day was also yesterday, but I will talk to y'all on the inside. Yo, let me tell you guys, it was so easy to get in here. Security was really nice. Everyone was super nice. They were like, oh, I see you have like a, a microphone. Really cool people. Candemonium just went up the lift hill. Just went down, actually. I'm going to try to catch them like coming through. But it looks amazing right now. Uh, wearing the mask, it's super hot today. So I'm definitely going to try to stay hydrated, obviously. Uh, I got this like Columbia mask on. Uh, it's really nice, but here comes Candemonium now. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's coming up. I'll show you guys in a minute here. Yeah, here it comes. It's coming. Yeah, so it looks awesome. I'm super excited. I'm gonna get some footage. Uh, I'm gonna ride Candemonium first, obviously, and I'll let you know my first reaction. Then after that, uh, I'll get some footage. Try to get y'all some on-ride footage, you already know. Uh, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay guys, I just got off of Candemonium. One ride, it took 45 minutes to get on. Let me guys tell you, that is the best hyper app I've ridden. Uh, literally, just, it's awesome. Airtime, Flowjector, uh, awesome ride, awesome ride. Overall, I, <laughs> I don't even think I could rate it right now, but I don't know where it really sits on my list. That was the first coaster I've ridden in like 184 days, guys. So awesome ride i highly recommend you get out here and ride it that is the first time i've ever said that for any hyper coaster even with sky rush i was like it's a good ride but you know the restraints this ride the restraints are so good because it's a bnm obviously absolutely amazing ride you need to come out here and check this thing out uh i'm gonna head over ride some other coasters i'll definitely get some more rides i did back row just fantastic i can't wait to do front and i'll talk to y'all in a little bit 
That's my parents. Mom. Let me tell you guys something. So, I just got off of Sky Rush, right? Check that out. So, Sky Rush. Oh my gosh. So, I just rode Candemonium. Uh, I took a little break. I went to Starbucks just to get some water. They were really kind there. They gave me three free cups of water, like big free cups of water. Uh, filled up my water bottle, drunk the rest. And let me just, just tell you that there is a huge difference between a B&M and an Intamin Hyper Coaster. That right there, let me tell you guys, Sky Rust, wow. Uh, super intense, obviously the restraints hurt pretty bad still. Um, it wasn't as bad as last time from what I remember, but I guess because my body's just not used to riding coasters, everything right now is just like, whoa, this is so much, this is so much better. But um, I don't know, man. I personally think, I still think Sky Rush might be the best, but at the same time, Candemonium was so good that I don't know, man. It's hard. It's hard. It's so aggressive. Skyrus is so aggressive compared to every other like coaster I've ridden besides Intimidator. This is the only coaster that's like that aggressive to me. Um, but I think overall, I think the guests are gonna probably like Candemony more. But I just got off the ride with another guy. He said he likes Skyrus more. So it's overall though, it's a good day. Uh, people are really nice. Uh, it's not crowded at all. Skyrus is walk on. Uh, Candemony is the only thing else that I've done. I'm gonna head towards like the back of the park now and I'll talk to you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, so overall the day is going well. Hold on, let me move out the way because I don't want copyright. Um, Alright, but yeah, I rode, uh, what did I ride? I rode a lot of things. I rode Fahrenheit, I just got off Fahrenheit. Uh, it's super smooth, no rattle. I didn't hear any rattle going on. Uh, what else? I did Great Bear after a Sky Rush. That was awesome. Storm Runner is down for the season, sadly. That's like one of my favorite rides here. Honestly, my visit has been way better than the last one. Honestly, like it's just, this park is way better. Like I understand why people like it now. I'm really feeling it. It's awesome here. Uh, yeah, the thing with the social distance thing, <laughs> the lines, let me talk about this really quick. So the lines, people are not, you guys, it's like probably one feet away like a regular line would be it's <laughs> and as far as the mass it's super hot out here guys like it's hot it's really hot it's humid in pennsylvania it's got to be at least 90 degrees right now but i think i'm gonna go ahead and head to on lightning racer now and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit i'm not riding that anymore not until they arm see it <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and get on lightning racer now i was gonna do laugh track but the line's super long but yeah, let's talk about social distancing really quick. So they have the markers and everything. Nobody's following them. And hold on. The mask thing, this is what people do. This is what they do right here. They do this. <laughs> and it's super hot, but you almost have to. You're trying to, I'm trying to follow the rules. It is hard. Um, I usually just go, hold on. I usually just go into the, uh, just an area where there's nobody around and then I take it off. But there's a lot of, it's actually more packed than I thought it would be. Like lines are probably, lines are probably around 15 minutes, 15 to 25 minutes usually. Candemonium was a long line, obviously. And I'll definitely head back up there after this. I'm gonna get water. And yeah, overall the day's going well. I'm really ready to get night rides. Um, got the Fahrenheit POV, uh, got the Candemonium POV. I'll definitely get the front row one for that. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Yeah. 
dirá Y cuando lo encuentre de ti no me voy a acordar El día que me falte tu piel ¿Con quién voy a compartir? Todas mis noches son me das Ahora aquí me va a dar los pesos como tú los das Todo es una ilusión y eso lo verás Tu amo Alright guys, I found a quiet area where there's not really crazy music or not too much going on The park is dying down a lot now I rode Candemonium I think three more times? Yeah, I did front row, got that POV Did middle row uh, What else? I think I did one other row Overall, the ride is solid, uh, really great addition to the park. I think that's definitely what Hersey Park had wanted from Jump Street. They didn't want something crazy like uh, Sky Rush, but Sky Rush is just a whole nother level. Every time I ride Sky Rush after this, it's just like, man, you can definitely tell the difference uh, just between the two manufacturers. It's like, man, Intamin is wild. Here it comes now, actually. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I thought it was coming. I thought it was coming. But yeah, overall the park is really nice, uh, really chill day to day, not a lot of people here. Oh yeah, so after Lightning Racer, I know I haven't talked to you all a little bit, after Lightning Racer, uh, I think I was going to do Fahrenheit, the line was super long, I might check it again because I kind of want to get a night ride on that. Uh, I'm really waiting to get a night ride on, uh, not Skyrise, but uh, Candemonium, I want to get that night ride on there. And yeah, honestly I'm just getting footage right now because nobody's here, it's really chill, they're running three trains, which is a big plus operations they're stacking uh i will say they're cleaning the trains but like i was talking about earlier about the mask situation uh you know a lot of people aren't wearing it because i think the when you're in the water park people kind of forget you're just like oh yeah i don't need it for the water park but they need it for when you come back inside um i imagine it probably would be the same thing in kings of Maine if they were open but overall it's a chill day i'll talk to y'all in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and do a couple other things i'll just show you all some footage of the park uh, the new area looks amazing. There's not a lot. They haven't finished everything yet, but they're almost done. Uh, hopefully, when, when I, I want to come back here, probably, I might come back here again. I don't know. It depends. There's also this Christmas shop near here. I don't know why there's Christmas items, but we'll talk to you all in a little bit. All right, guys. So, we are, I just stopped over at Chick-fil-A because it's the cheapest thing they got in this park because everything else is mad expensive. Uh, they, this is actually almost retail, but it's still, you know, they upcharge you a little bit, but... I just got the regular, uh, I didn't want to get a drink because it was like, I just need water. I don't really need all the soda and everything. I don't really drink soda like that. Uh, they're playing this cringe music in the background. I don't think it's copyright, but I will talk to y'all after that. Uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog. If you have, give it a thumbs up. You know, uh, just click that subscribe button. Help me on the algorithm. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, finished eating. Uh, I literally took like about an hour, hour and a half break. I was working on, I just was charging everything. Uh, I was looking at footage, deleting stuff, just editing basically. Uh, I'm waiting for it to get to nighttime. Right now, everything is closed due to inclement weather. Um, yeah, I think mainly because it hasn't rained at all yet, so I don't know. It's they're just. It looks like it's gonna rain. I looked on the forecast; it didn't say it was gonna rain or anything. So, yeah. A lot of people are leaving. I'm waiting. Uh, I want to ride Candemonium at night, and then after that, I'm probably gonna head out. As far as the mask thing, like I was talking about earlier, they, yeah, they're not caring. At this point, nobody's really caring. Uh, they're not really enforcing it. Uh, the workers have been wearing it, though. The workers have been wearing it. I will say that. Every, they've been sanitizing the trains and everything. Also, one thing I want to point out is the, they had chocolate in the vending machines when it was like 90 degrees outside. I don't think it was ventilated either. Like, I didn't think, I don't think they're cold candy bars. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to probably chill out by can ammonium for a little bit. And yeah, I'll try to get some more rides. I might change my shirt because this one is sweated out. <laughs> it was super hot today. Literally hit like probably 95 degrees. Uh, very humid, like humid like Virginia humid. Humid like the South humid. Um, overall though, it was a pretty good day. Uh, I would talk to you guys probably when it gets closer to the evening. But this spot right here, I'm in front of this little Christmas area. But it's a really cool shot because they don't have like copyright music or anything. So. Talk to y'all in a little. Okay, guys, I'm gonna head into this little gift shop area because uh, it started to sprinkle and I'm not about to be out here and caught in the rain and I don't want them to not let me in. So we're gonna go ahead and head in here really quick. It does, it definitely looks unfinished. Oh, it's locked. 
Oh, this is the exit only. Hold on. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it still looks unfinished, but it looks good though. Like it, you can tell they put a lot of work into it. When it's fully done, I definitely want to come back here for sure. They have a giant, it's gotta be like 75 inch TV. Looks like a 4K one. Um, see over here, they have Reese's. You get a chocolate pillow. See, they have other chocolate and whatnot. It's kind of cool. Mugs. Twizzler scented candle. Never seen that one before. Uh, I feel like a lot of this you could probably get on Amazon or something. Not like the Canamonian gear, obviously, but I don't know. I might get something. I might get a little something. We'll see. Um, what are these? I, oh, they have a puzzle set. Wow. Thousand piece. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, it's a jigsaw puzzle? Hold on. Where's the price at? Here we go. Hold on. $20. Hmm. I don't think that's... Eh, that's probably bad. <laughs> see what else they got. Candemonium shot glasses. They have one some sorts of timbers as well. I like this right here. It probably costs a lot too. I like this though. I don't know how much this is. It looks really cool. And I don't have a season pass, so I can't get a discount. What else? Percy Kisses, you got. Oh, they have a Candemonium lanyard. I don't think I'm gonna get that. I already have one for Twisted Timbers. Uh, let's see. Okay, they have Chocolate Town. These are kind of cool, actually. I actually kind of like this. This one spins. How much is this? I wonder how much they are charging for this, honestly. Eight, nine dollars, guys. Nine dollars for that little thing. Come on. This is cool. This is actually really cool. That's really cool. That's Starbucks over there, by the way. It looks super nice. It's very nice inside. They have a giant uh, screen so nobody can get, like, for social distancing. These little things, I don't know what this is. <laughs> they are really charging hard. Like, I don't think, I know Twisted Timbers, I remember when that opened, it was like $109 or something for the windscreen jacket. It was crazy. Percy Candles, I, like I said, this is stuff that you can probably buy on Amazon, to be honest. This is kind of cool, whatever this is. I think, can you eat this? Lip balm, what the world? That's cool. Yeah, like I said, though, you see how it's kind of open? Look how open it is. It looks really nice in here, but this is what I was talking about, how it's like really open. Uh, I think obviously they haven't got everything in here. I mean, it makes sense. This is crazy with the world, cooking forks. They're going crazy. Grilling basket, spatula. This is stuff you don't usually see in a honest, like in a store for like gear, but it's pretty cool. Chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. Chocolate understands, okay. That's some nice gear. I wish they had like, I don't know, I wish they had like some other type of shirt. I'll keep looking around, but you guys kind of get a gist of what there is to offer. Pretty nice store. I'm gonna check out another area in just a little bit. I think it might be the actual chocolate uh, factory or something, I can't remember. Oh, they have the lights up for Hersey or uh, Candemonia. That looks amazing.
Okay, guys, I'm gonna check out this place called Hyperdeck. It's, I think it's $15. I'm not paying for it, but I just want to see what it looks like on the inside. I think it's pretty cool that they have, they added this feature. Uh, Hersey Park knows what they're doing. They're adding a bunch of entertainment stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Hold on, let me focus a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it still looks unfinished. Like I said, they haven't added everything. Obviously, they really worked hard to get just this part done. I mean, they worked their butts off. But it looks like they're using HTC Vives or Vives. Um, let's see what it looks like really quick. It's pretty cool. As you can see, it looks like it's fun. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but it looks really cool. It honestly looks probably better than uh, Battle for Ire at Bush Gardens, I'm guessing. And apparently, I think it's like, maybe like a 10 minute experience, so. Pretty cool how they have everything, really nice, really cool. They have hand sanitizer stations everywhere now, which is really helpful. So yeah, um, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I got a bunch of footage now, got a bunch of POVs for y'all. So excited for you to see them. You're probably gonna see it before this vlog comes out actually. All right guys, it's starting to rain now. Um, I thought it wasn't gonna rain, but I saw it on like the thing that it might, have, might rain. Hold on, let me put this up. So yeah, I'm gonna head to Skyrush now. Uh, I met this group of people. Well, they're not a group of people, but it's like two, uh, it's like this girl and uh, this black guy. They know about coasters, surprisingly. Uh, really cool people. I got them on the video for like the sunset ride on uh, Hersey Park. So I was really excited about that. I'm gonna head to Skyrush with them and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so what is, I forgot, is it Eli? Shmeed. What is the name? Young Smee, Young <laughs> What's the real name? <laughs> Young Schmeeg on the track, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but I met this guy and uh, her as well, Ari. Uh, they are awesome. They know about coasters, actually. It's really crazy. Um, but yeah, really cool people. They're from Delaware. Um, I'll, be, I'll leave like their link to the Instagram in the description box below. We couldn't get the night ride. Uh, they're still, they're leaving too. But we couldn't get the night ride because, I don't know, the weather or something. They, they closed the ride earlier. And it was 8.55, we tried to get last ride. I got the sunset ride at least for you guys. So I'm gonna head in this, this place right here. Um, this is the last place I need to check out. And I'll head out after that. It was nice seeing you guys. Subscribe, yes, uh, follow on the gram, everything. Uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. I don't know what the next park will be, but see you soon. Till next time, Dolly peace Wood. out. Dolly <laughs> Dolly I might have something after this too, hold on. All right guys, for the last part of the video, I'm just gonna show off kind of this area. Obviously it's not done yet, but they got some stuff in here. It looks absolutely beautiful in here. Uh, you can tell they really put in that $150 million. Um, it's going to a lot of places, it looks amazing. They did an awesome job. Really, really cool. Looks amazing. I wonder, we'll check out some of the prices really quick. So. We have some Hersey Kisses and a mug. Oh, that's super cool. Nice selection of just a bunch of stuff. So it looks awesome. Let's check this out. Obviously the park is closed. I'm just checking this out before uh, everything. This looks really cool. Oh, it's only, oh no, that's $20. This is 35, yeah. Really cool stuff though, guys. You can tell it was gonna be a big year for them, and it still will be, it's just not gonna be as big. Really awesome though. Oh, I wish I could get this, 45. If y'all just hit that like button and subscribe, I might be able to afford this stuff. <laughs> really cool though, awesome. Yeah, they, they, this is gonna be really awesome. When they get all this done, because it's obviously not filled yet, uh, it looks amazing here. The lighting is great. Awesome job. What the world is this thing? <laughs> really cool stuff here. Some Reese's if you want one. <laughs> wow. Got a Twizzlers right here. Super cool. I actually can get chocolate. It's $1.95. Still upcharged, you know. They have to do it, it's Hersey Park. <laughs> nice Hersey Kisses right there, giant Hersey Kisses. 
like I said, this one's empty over here. But I'm glad they got some stuff in here. You definitely could tell, like, they didn't have much time, but they worked their butts off to get just this part done. So really cool. The lights change here. Awesome, awesome job. I'll give you a little cinematic video in just a moment. And uh, after that, that will probably be the end of the video. I'll tell you all about my experience with the park just a little bit once I get to the car. So yeah, really cool. They got socks over here. That's what's up. Jolly Rancher socks. Great bear. Oh, yo, this is cool. Fahrenheit Storm Runner socks. Yo, that is so cool. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me see how much this is. $15 for a socks, guys. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, here we go. We got jackets over here. Hold on. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Okay, here we go. Like, they have jackets over here. That's so cool. Pretty cool. I imagine they're mad expensive. Made in China. COVID. <laughs> it's $35. Not too bad. Got a giant Percy bottle over here. I don't know if there's actually... <laughs> there's nothing in it. Really huge selection. They did an awesome, awesome job. It looks amazing in here. Thank you all for rocking with me on this video. It's been, it just was awesome day. Awesome day. Met some awesome people. The employees are great. Uh, the only thing I can talk about, I'll talk about it in the car. And uh, yeah. guys i literally just got home it is 108 in the morning today is saturday uh july 4th happy july 4th to you guys who celebrated uh you guys know uh everything that's been happening this year and whatnot but anyways i had an awesome day at hershey's park i just wanted to let you do this little summary of the park and just give the final like review and everything when i first went there last year i had a horrible experience as you guys kind of know and that really will stick with you uh when you go back to the park you're like oh let's see how it's gonna be and they really exceeded my expectations at this park this year like they were they did a great job all the workers were doing their job well everyone was wearing a mask it it was great. Uh, the only thing, obviously, like I talked about the social distancing before, uh, they really weren't enforcing it. In line, there was basically no social distancing. It was so hot. There was no AC inside the like stations or anything. People were just like, you're, you're really basically trying to get air and it's hard. It really is hard. It's going to be hard, uh, especially when it's humid like it was today. Uh, I couldn't imagine being in Alabama or Georgia uh, doing something like that. Uh, that would be crazy. I had a great time. Candemonium was an amazing addition to the park i think that is the best hyper that i've ridden so far i do think it is better than sky rush i think i rode it six times uh we couldn't get the last ride of the night because it just went down early i guess they shut it down early they just were done for the day it had rained a little bit i don't know what happened with all that but i did get a sunset ride i did get the pov for that I, i'll have a bunch more povs coming food is mad expensive there and it's definitely still not the best food and that goes for most amusement parks but their food just really isn't good and it's just too overpriced for what they try to for what they're giving you they're charging really too much i literally had to go to chick-fil-a just to save money 
and I only spent like nine dollars there. If not, I probably would have ended up burning like 14 plus dollars anywhere else. Other than that, though, I had a great time. Uh, I didn't get to do a night ride on Fahrenheit. It had went down as well. I will say there was a lot of stuff closed. There was a lot of like small stores closed. They just were short staff. Obviously, I'm just glad they were able to open type of thing. That's the main thing that they were able to open. They were able to get through this. And honestly, just parks are going to have to get through this time. I understand a lot of people don't want to go out and that's fine. I mean, if you gone over 180 days without a coaster, you're going to lose your mind too. I'm so glad that I finally got mines, got my G's, got my airtime, flow ejector, everything. Uh, Skyros is still insane. I really wish I could have rode Storm Runner. I can't wait for that to open next year. Super Duper Looper was also closed. I'm trying to think, I think Wildcat might have been closed as well. So I really do hope they RMC that ride. I can't, I really hope they do that. I think it really would be a great addition to Hersey Park. They need an RMC or they could just get the G. GCI new track. Uh, we'll see if that happens. I don't know. That definitely is going to be further down the line. Obviously, they spent over $150 million on that expansion. But like I said, it, it was a great time. I met some awesome people. I met you saw uh ari and i i forget his other name i'm sorry man if you're watching this i'm sorry forget it i'll know as soon as i look back at the video clip shout out to y'all they all are awesome it was so nice to see some other black people that knew about coasters the new hersey town area looks stunning i was blown away by that the attention to detail you can tell they put in a lot of work for that and it's sad that they couldn't get it all done because of everything that's happened i want to come back here honestly when everything's done and when that fountain is finally ready and whatnot because as you saw in the clips the fountain wasn't ready yet and when you pass by that spot on candemonium it's going to look awesome for off ride and on ride i'll have probably a full review for candemonium um soon i think i definitely want to do a review for that ride because a lot of people kind of want to know and i really just want to let you all know my experience of the ride thank you all for watching one each again if you rock with me this this long give this video a thumbs up remember to subscribe and able to push another case stay up to date with everything that's happening on the channel i don't know the next park that i'm going to i definitely don't know that uh, more than likely it would probably be a six flags park if anything obviously in virginia right now uh i don't imagine anything's gonna be open to phase four and if even if phase four happens i really wouldn't be surprised if they just didn't open the park for the season because they would literally be losing money but until next time peace out